Hi folks, Yachtsman1 here again. This is another in my series of tutorials on using Pictures to Exe Series 8. Today I'm going to talk about constructing a menu. Previously there's been various problems with other versions of Pictures to Exe where the music was start and finish music was starting and stopping where it shouldn't. Anyway, I thought today, as it's raining, I would settle down and have a serious try at constructing a menu using 8. And I'm very pleased to say that uh, I've managed to do it. So, on the screen here you see the various components of the menu. We've got the start slide, the next slide which is a video, another, another, and then we've got the menu screen which is that one, and all the various shows have already been linked which other tutorials have told you how to actually link that. Using those in previous instructions these are additional to mine and others previous instructions on how you link shows from one slide to enable them to start up when you click on the heading on here. The first thing I did was as I said assemble the various components of the menu as you see here. Then I selected two pieces of music, one to start and one to finish. You can see the end track there and the opening track there. So for the opening track I clicked on the first slide, clicked on slide options and in the audio section here I'll just delete that I added an audio file which is the opening so there you've got the opening now if we go to say OK on that if we go to project options and click on audio you'll see that that's also there in project options and it's linked to slide 1 so we'll click OK on that now the main difference to this menu and to previous menus, the soundtrack has stopped at this slide and a separate slide uh, soundtrack added to this slide, which is the one after the menu page. So if I just show you the slide options there and the audio file, that's the audio file for the end section. So we'll click OK on that. Now the main difference concerns this slide, which is the one with the headings for the various shows. In slide options, I selected loop this slide. You've got various other things there. By default, show next slide after indicated time, show next slide after indicated time interval, wait for a key press. Now that's the one that I used to use. But now I've selected loop this slide and I click on OK. So if I just run through the menu, That's now gone to the activation slide to, for want of a better name. So if I click on one of these headings, Vincent. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and grey. Look out on a summer's day. Now I've pressed the escape key to come out of that. And we've now got back to the main slide page. Once the final show has been run, all you have to do with this one now is press the arrow key, the right hand arrow key.
and that's it I hope that's helped anybody that's been struggling with uh, this I've certainly struggled over the years but uh, I'm pleased to say that I've now constructed a reasonable menu we still got the flashbacks and the pop-ups that happen when it's someone else's show uh, but we're never going to cure that I don't think and that's it thank you for watching